Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna be eating some crickets today. A little entomophagy is the technical term for eating insects. And essentially I feel like most people have kind of a cultural stigma around eating insects. Um, they're typically looked at as pests um, who like destroy crops when that is true in a sense, but they can also be really nutritious and nutrient dense. And so I'm going to list a few reasons why I want to eat some insects today. I've heard they're nutrient dense, lots of protein, which I definitely need. Um, I also believe that the Bible talks about meat being outlawed toward the end of this age in 1 Timothy 4 verse 3. And I'll be, I believe we'll be eating less beef and less larger animals as they're not sustainable in the long term and that our population will need to find some sort of food or meat alternative. And I think insects is a viable resource just because they take a lot less food and water and time to um, grow and harvest. And also you can use more of the actual animal than you can, say, a cow. With like a cricket, you can use, I think, 70 to 80 percent of the body, whereas with a cow, you can only use about 40 percent of the body for edible meat. And so I just think that's interesting um, that we're putting so much time and effort into basically creating an issue. Um, animal agriculture is one of the biggest reasons for global warming, and that's just a whole different topic in and of itself. But basically I see a trend of over-consuming over larger animals and either not eating bugs or just not even knowing that's a viable concept. The Bible actually says that crickets and grasshoppers and some other insects are clean by biblical standards. And so I think that's interesting. Um, also, certain cultures have survived on bugs and foraging for a long time. Uh, a lot of people eat worms and mealworms and crickets and grasshoppers and other insects all over the world. They like steam them, smoke them, cook them, fry them, toast them, do whatever. Um, and lastly, I just kind of always wanted to try it. It's been interesting. I've thought about catching a grasshopper and just eating it, but... I don't know. Never really sounded super appealing. And so I went and got a couple packets of like chocolate covered insects. Oops. And um, these cricket ets. Um, basically sour cream and onion flavored. And then the chocolate covered ones. And so. We're going to have ourselves a little meal here. You can kind of see the chocolate covered ones and there's a head of a sour cream one. And so, man, I'm just going to dive in here with a, a little body. I've heard the legs are the worst, but here, here we go. Hmm. It's not bad. It's a little crunchy. Um, I feel like the biggest thing is just the idea that there's a little cricket in my mouth. Like I said, it doesn't taste bad or anything. It kind of tastes good. I feel like it's kind of just getting over the the idea of it more than anything. I said it's not awful, it's just weird. Um, taste is good. I feel like I have a leg stuck in my mouth or something. It's a little odd, but praise God.
Um, they really aren't bad. So I think these are crickets right here. And then these are actual grasshoppers. Kind of excited about that just because they're covered in chocolate. And then also we have these, uh, I want to say they're a mealworm and covered in chocolate as well. But yeah, just kind of getting through that, uh, just cricket eeness um, is interesting. I guess I'll start with a chocolate mealworm. Crunchy. I feel like I taste the chocolate more than anything. It's kind of good. I guess, once again, just the idea of eating a mealworm is real interesting. So here's mealworm number two. It's really not that bad. It's got a little bit of a crunch. Again, a Kind of just taste of chocolate more than anything. I wonder how a little cricket with a little bit of. Meh, not bad. So now I'm gonna eat this little chocolate covered cricket. I've heard the legs are the worst and can get stuck in your teeth. I, mean, I probably shouldn't be talking with my mouth full. But this is all really interesting. Um, so I think I'm just going to eat a couple more here and wrap it up. But I don't know. I'm definitely slowed on chocolate covered ones. The. Uh, Little sour cream guys are interesting, but I'm probably going to wrap it up. I just want to thank you guys for joining me, and I just wanted to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications. Also, please feel free to comment and ask questions. I love to uh, talk about this type of thing. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll drop those links in the below section. You guys be blessed.